Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to a fashion forward episode of Plasma Channel. Today we're going to talk about three awesome experiments you can do with your three volt Tesla coil that we built from our last episode. <laughs> Plasma Channel? More like Disability Channel. What? Don't you keep this from them. Oh. Surprise! Broke my arm! But that won't stop science. Before we begin though, go back and watch our last episode on a 3 volt DIY Tesla coil. These things are awesome. But also, today's video is going to be short and concise. So, let's get to it. The first experiment is awesome. It's radio transmission and interference. Let's place the radio right over here. Now you've heard the sound of the Tesla coil before. Its normal break rate sounds like this. But there is electromagnetic energy being emitted into the air in all directions, and that goes towards the radio. Let's turn it on, and what do you hear? You hear those individual pulses through the speaker. And as you move the radio closer, that sound gets much louder because the signal strength is stronger. And you move it away, and the signal strength exponentially decays just like radio. And now that's really cool. You can push it out to about 20 feet. The second experiment we'll do is turning this light bulb into a plasma globe. Simply take your light bulb and touch it to the top load of the Tesla coil. It should light up a bit like a plasma globe. Now this is happening because you are giving the electricity a pathway to escape to ground. It goes through the vacuum of the bulb, which is quite easy to ionize, then jumps through the filament into your hand and down to the ground. Beautiful effect. Our third experiment is wireless power transmission using matching resonant coils. Using this fluorescent tube, I'll demonstrate how when you have matching resonant coils, you're able to have a more efficient energy transfer across a given distance. You can expect to see the light brighter at this secondary coil than it would be at even the midpoint. Let's hit the lights. Okay, now take note of how bright this light is at the source coil. Fairly bright. Now at the midpoint, absolutely nothing. But at the receiving coil, its resonance allows it to build up enough energy to light up that light. Now at the midpoint, again, nothing. Source coil, brighter. Midpoint, dead. And double the distance of the midpoint, you have more energy present. Interesting. Now really there's far more than three experiments you can do with these little mini coils, but I decided to focus my time on the three ones that I found most interesting. I appreciate you joining me on my journey of recovery here, and I'll see you on the next episode of Plasma Channel.